Okay. Uh, third scenario that I think could make sense to hire a coach is to enhance a particular skill. So let's say you are bad at structuring frameworks mm -hmm. uh, for non-traditional cases. Yeah. Let's say, say that. Uh, and you're thinking of hiring a coach for that. What are your mm -hmm. thoughts? So this is tough. This is tough because most coaches won't do this. Mm -hmm. Or at least most coaches that you'll find online randomly and... They'll say they do it. They'll say they do it. Because they want the job. But yeah. But what most coaches do is just give you a case and work with you through a full case and, and, and then give you feedback on that, on yeah. whatever you did wrong. They'll say they'll do this, but most coaches don't have the experience that they need to do this. Like they need the experience to find well thought out uh, examples and exercises for your very specific problem. Yeah. They're probably going to have to come up with that uh, on the spot because they might have never seen your problem before. So this is a tough one because it's hard to do on your own. And mm -hmm. it's also hard to do, find a coach that will have the necessary experience to help you do that. Yeah, I think I agree with you. Uh, just like the first use case of going through your first five or 10 cases, you need someone who's a good teacher. Mm -hmm. who has good examples to give you, who has some material ready, some, uh, some drills, some question examples, uh, answer templates, and who can guide you through like why, for example, is this, is this framework structured the way it is? Mm -hmm. How could you have thought of this if you didn't know this problem before? Like what are the uh, kind of like pre-made frameworks that could, ha could have inspired you? And yeah. what specific steps could you have done to switch the framework and, and adapt it to something that's specific for this case. But unlike the, so you need great te teaching skills, but unlike the, the first use case, you need specialized teaching skills. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm to teach someone the first five or 10 cases, I'm gonna start with simple cases, I'm gonna go into you know average difficulty cases and try to do it in a progressive way, but it's kind of teaching a gen generalist skill, yeah. right? How to solve a case, how to control the case. Yeah. Uh, but if I'm teaching a very specific skill, like how to create a framework from scratch or how to structure an analysis uh, or how to create a good issue tree for a brainstorming problem, then I kind of need that specific skill set of teaching that specific skill. Yeah. And as you said, most most uh, coaches don't have specialized experience, nor the materials, mm -hmm. uh, nor the techniques to teach you how to do that. So yeah. I think in this case, uh, one of our courses, which are made for that, for teaching specific skills with specific techniques and specific ex examples is better mm -hmm. because you like we we spent like four five six months up to a year uh in the methodology of each of those courses uh so i think it's more bang for your buck it's cheaper than the the hourly uh fee of a coach that could teach you this well yeah and it has like hours and hours dozens of hours of content in each and practice as well. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get a coach to see, like a personal trainer, like uh, sometimes you want to see, to have someone see, hey, you're progressing here, good job. Mm -hmm. uh, you were a six, now you're an eight. Uh, you were uh, likely to get rejected, now you're likely to pass, but you still have this one thing that you could improve. If you want that kind of personal help, I think it's, and you need to have the money for it, of course, but I think it's the perfect, a situation to use a coach combined with a course. Yeah. It could be ours, it could be someone else's. I'm not aware of uh, other people in the market that do uh, specialized courses for specific skills. Mm -hmm. And I don't think a generalist course would help you too much with this, but, uh, but yeah, that's my take on it. Yeah, so I think that if you're gonna spend money on improving a specific skill, then a course definitely goes before a coach because a course has the like the distilled knowledge of someone who's seen a lot of that very problem yeah. that very problem and it has 
exercises that are chosen for that specific problem and to improve in that specific problem. So it definitely go, comes before a coach, R whether you hire a coach or not. Uh, These are independent decisions. I think they're independent decisions, but if you're hiring a coach, you should probably have a course with you beforehand because that's going to give you, like in the time that you're not with the coach, that's going to give you high quality focused practice. Yeah. And if you're, like, you're not going to hire a coach for two to three hours a day, but you might want to practice for two to three hours a yeah, day. Yeah, and I know what people are thinking right now. Oh, these two guys sell courses, so they're saying the course is best. But the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, uh, why have we created these courses? Back when we were coaching, uh, we saw lots of issues in people. For example, we would diagnose that, hey, you need to improve your analysis skills, or you need to make your brainstorms more messy, or you need to learn to create structures from scratch. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, we wanted to give them stuff to practice. We wanted to give them techniques to learn this, but we, there, there, were, there weren't any. Yeah. So it's actually the other way around, right? We were coaches and then we noticed, hey, there are no good practice stuff. There's no uh, good techniques on the market. So we had to develop the techniques, create the practice. So it's kind of the other way around. Like if people stop it, stopped buying courses right now, we could do coaching mm -hmm. uh, for quite a high fee actually. But uh, we felt like what was needed in the market back then was uh, stuff to learn and practice a specific skill after you're diagnosed I, either self-diagnosed or diagnosed by a good coach. Uh, and also, uh, if you know you had the problem already, uh, techniques, systems, and practice examples that you can practice with and actually improve. So just wanted to take that out there because we're kind of like selling the courses here, but uh, people may say, oh, you're, you're selling the courses because you have courses, but it's actually the other way around. Yeah. We have courses because we knew as coaches that the market needed this. Yeah, and it's it's also math, you know? Like, a coaching session will cost you anywhere between 300 and 600, yeah. maybe more dollars. A course is gonna be less than that, probably. So, it's hard not to make sense to get a course. Yeah, it's like if you're trying to learn math, like calculus, you get a calculus textbook. Yeah. Maybe you get a tutor afterwards, but... Mm -hmm. It's hard to learn calculus without the textbook, right? Exactly, yeah. Or the materials that are similar.